Hello, my name is Zenon Blast, here finally to show off some of American Wilds. Now, I'm only going to be showing off the trucks in this video. I'm saving the maps for when Cam uh, Broncos are on. So, I already got them set up the way I'm going to be showing them off. I've got pretty much every attachment you can use over here. With every machine and every truck. So, let's get through it. First, we got the Hummer. The Hummer H1. You can have it with or without the bed cap, with or without the spare tire. Uh, there are some repair supplies in the bed, but you can't really see them through the cap. I like the cap. And yeah, I mean, it's a pretty fun truck to drive. Honestly, the Hummer was the truck I was the least excited for when, this, uh, when I saw this update come out. Of course... When they were doing the vehicle presentations, this was also the truck, the first truck that we knew was going to be in the game, because it was in the trailer. So if we go over here to info, you can see that if I can stay on the road, I've gotten this truck up to 60 kilometers an hour. So, you know, for this game, it's a pretty speedy little thing. And I like that. You want to go first person? Yeah, I mean... It's accurate enough, I'd say. You know, the, I think it's more the game engine that this allows uh, the dashboard to work properly. And this map doesn't actually have any heavy real off-roading that I remember how to get to. But, you know, I'm sure this is probably one of the better ones for off-road capabilities. You know, that's kind of what Hummers were made for. But we got a lot of trucks to get through. I don't want to spend too much time on any one. You'll be seeing plenty of them uh, when we actually play through some of the maps later. Though that video won't be out for a couple days. Anyway, so that was just a quick look at the Hummer. This is it. Like I said, the truck that I'm the least interested in. So I'm getting it out of the way quickly. Sorry if you like this truck. I'll probably use it more in the future. I've never really cared for Hummers personally. They're cool looking but they're just... they're a bit meh. So now we're going to switch back to the Ford F-150. Now, I only the only thing I have on this truck is the repair supplies, which you can see there. You can also get a bed cap, a spare tire, and I think there was something else. I don't remember what it was. Oh, there was a roof rack. The Hummer might have also had a roof rack. I think, actually, all the pickups have roof racks. And this has been confirmed by Bronco to sound accurate. So just like with the Hummer... Ooh, jeez. Definitely slides accurately. We've got diff lock and all-wheel drive on this. Of course, it's on road tires. Let's see. I want to say there's some hill climbing areas over here. If I remember to, I'll link this map in the description. It's, uh, I think it's called Testing Grounds version 3. Honestly, I don't really want to mess with this truck too much either, because I'm going to save this one for Bronco. But, I mean, I'm sure if you give it enough time, it'll get the job done. Holy crap, that was a deep hole. I think I'm just going to leave this here for now. We'll look more at the Ford later. <laughs> Alright. Now we're in my territory. Chevrolet. K5 Blazer. Now, I will say before anything else, this is probably going to be more balanced than any of the Blazer mods you can get on the workshop. Being that it's a developer vehicle. I mean, what do you expect? That being said... We have one in the game officially. So, I mean, you can't complain too much. Once again, with the diff lock and the all wheel drive, all the pickups have those. They're all very good scout vehicles. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this one to slide. Okay, not really. This truck has a lot of grip, apparently. 
Or not enough grip in the front, one of the two. I have noticed that there's this weird... I think it's a glitch, where only the right uh, reverse light is coming on. As you can see. It's a blinker. <laughs> I did. Frickin' game. Yeah, this truck actually does not slide nearly as well as the other ones do. Pretty good at taking trees out, though. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Like I said, I'm not looking at capabilities or anything like that yet. I'm just showing off the vehicles. We are actually going to do a proper playthrough of probably both the maps on camera later today. So that's where I'll, that's where we'll really be showing off these trucks and their abilities. And you know we're going to have a be we're going to be having a competition with the Chevy versus the Ford. I'm just doing this for fun. Woo! <laughs> All right. So that's the Blazer. Oh, um, has the supplies in the back, the spare tire, a roof rack, and the bull bar on the front. And there was something else. Oh, I think there were stuff to put on the roof rack. Alright, go back over here, and jumping into the Ford LTL 9000. I was very excited when I saw this truck was in the game. Now, I've never heard one of these before. I've seen them plenty of times. But I've never heard one running. So, if there's someone who has, you can tell me if this is accurate. So, this is the truck that I'm sure Bronco is going to be using quite a lot. Because who doesn't like a Ford Semi? I mean, seriously. I wish they still made trucks. Oh, I forgot to show the uh, interior in the other two. Whoops. Well, here's the interior on the Ford, anyway. It's very plain, but that's pretty much what you expect on this game. Oh, look at the wiggly mirror. <laughs> that's really amusing, actually. I mean, I like it. It feels like it's a pretty capable road truck. Oh, and this is the flatbed trailer. Because I know I was sure curious to see what it looked like. It's a bit more Russian than I was hoping for, but, I mean, it'll do. You can definitely haul some machinery on that thing. Alright. Uh-oh! That's what I get for not looking where I'm going. And there the Ford shall sit. And now into my favorite truck in the entire pack, the Chevy Bison. Which, I gotta mention, has the same starting audio that I think my Kenworth does in uh, Rig and Roll. I find that kind of amusing. So this one I've got set up for logging. Unfortunately, there isn't an actual fifth wheel log trailer. That really disappointed me. We've still got the Stingers. They've just... the American style Stingers. Which, I know there are places that Stingers are used in America, I've just never seen one. I guess I should have mentioned... let's see. There you go. I guess I should have mentioned with the Ford. Oh, hold on. This truck has diff lock always on, too. What's the Ford like? I never... I didn't actually look at that. Yeah, okay. So, apparently, the Ford and the Chevy, as well as the Freightliner that I'm about to show, have the differentials always on. But for some reason, the, thre the Freightliner is locked behind balance points and is a three-star, while the Ford and the Chevy are both two-stars. But they're all 6 by 4s so I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, so yeah. Once you pull the logs out of the deep woods with those machineries over there, 
this is the truck you're going to want to haul it. Of course, if I could drive for crap, it would be a bit better. And look at that hood ornament. I mean, you can't help but love to look out and see that. The steering wheel is crooked. Yeah, pretty decent for a semi in this game, isn't it? And this can come over here and park with the Ford. And let's take a look at the Freightliner. Now, the first thing I have got to mention about this truck, it is not an FLD. It's an FLC. And it really annoys me that they got that wrong. So I think the reason this truck is a three-star is because of this loading crane. The other two don't have that. Ooh, that engine has a deep rumble, doesn't it? So this truck's got the loading crane, and as you can see, I have the utility trailer attached to it. Which is a very interesting looking trailer. I've never seen a trailer like this before. I'm sure they exist somewhere. It looks like a service truck body that's been extended. It's interesting. This is the first person. Got a very colorful steering wheel. And I was very excited when I saw this truck in the uh, expansion art. I've always had a thing for the old Freightliners. And honestly, just trucks in general, they actually have two completely separate windshields. I just love the way that looks for some reason. You know, like, the Chevy and probably the Ford, I didn't look have split windshields, but this actually has two completely separate holes, and I absolutely love that. I don't know why, though. So that's the Freightliner. And other than the crane, pretty much every attachment I have on these trucks is available on every other truck as well. So, I figured that's why I mentioned that. On to the Western Star. The biggest and baddest of them all. And I just have it on a tanker because I hadn't put a tanker on anything yet. But yeah, this truck has diff lock, selectable diff lock, and it has all-wheel drive. And you can see it's on big off-road tires. So this is going to be your off-roading beast. Definitely not going to be able to haul logs as well as that machine over there. But it's going to be better than the other trucks, that's for sure. At least until I get my hands on them. Okay. I was just curious as to whether they changed the horn for the American trucks. I didn't figure they would have, but it was worth a check. Well, that was the first person. And once again, I don't really remember where any of the off-roading areas on this map are to show this truck off properly. So we're just going to take a little drive in it. You see the interior. Trying to maybe do a bit less looking around while I'm driving. Now, one thing I do want to point out on this truck, because I find it very amusing, is look at the bumper guides. Look at how much they bend. I mean, seriously, are those metal poles on the bumper, or are they antennas? What is that? <laughs> but it's so funny. I'm honestly just really glad that we have a truck with bumper guides, because I like the way we So there you go. That's the semis. So three pickups, four semis. Well, I mean, the Hummer's technically a pickup. And then two machines, and I think probably the Skidder is the less interesting. Now, the one cool thing about the Skidder 
is look at the size of this grabber. I imagine you could pick up quite a few logs with that thing. It also has a plow on the front, which I think the forwarder does too. But I just missed it in the menu. It didn't put it on. So as opposed to just taking a little drive with it, let's go see if we can find somewhere to use that plow. Right, I want to see if it works. And this is the first person. Can't really see much, if I'm honest. Like, half of my view is obscured by hood. Well, actually, I guess technically half my view is obscured by firewall. The rest is obscured by hood. <laughs> it's also very interesting that the machine appears to have mirrors inside the cab. I think maybe one of the loaders I've been in had a mirror inside the cab, but it still also had ones outside. So, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, no, there's not really anything to plow over here, is there? Alright, what about those bushes over there? Let me try plowing those. Put the plow down. Whoop. You can actually... There we go. Oh, and you can use it to lift the front of the machine up. That could end up being useful if you're trying to use this to rescue another truck. Can it clear the concrete? Yes. Go plow! This thing can get some speed on it, considering the type of machine it is. Maybe I should have put on all-wheel drive. Okay, so the plow's physics are a little bit weird. Still cool to have, though. And that brings us finally to... Freaking... Where's my button? The forwarder. Which, this log body is built on. That's not an attachment. So I believe, if we go over here to the log area, let's look at the inside of this thing real quick, because I actually haven't seen it yet. Oh, legit! This is a pretty cool little machine, isn't it? We go over here to the logs, and of course, you can put the crane on it, which is nice. So, I guess it needs to have short logs. I wonder if you can put more logs on it if it doesn't have the crane. And then this carries medium logs. So that's seven points right there. Which is more than any of the trucks can carry without mods. And this thing is going to be a beast off-road. I mean, all 8 bay 8s are. Interesting. These machines are primarily front wheel drive, because I'm pretty sure the other one was the same way. I didn't look at it, but I think it was. So there you go, we learned something new now. Alright, so, I mean, I feel like that was a fairly decent showing of all of the new vehicles. As I said, in a couple days I'll have a video going up showing off us actually completing the new maps with the new vehicles. So, stay tuned for that, because that'll probably be more of what you're actually looking for than this video was. But I didn't want to look at too much on my own before, uh, before Bronco was around, because... He's in class at college right now and hasn't had a chance to look at anything yet, so 
we want to look at the good stuff together. Since I'd already seen most of the trucks, I figured it wouldn't really be a problem if I did this. There you go, stick all wheel drive on. So what grass? What bushes? So like, this this is a flat plane. This is flat pavement right now. This machine is going to be seriously useful. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope whatever truck you were excited for, I showed enough of that you're happy. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. You know what? <clears throat> Before we go, I think I'm going to load that skitter onto this truck. Because why not? I did! Freaking, I hate it when the game jumps right as I'm shifting gears and it does that. Actually, that's probably good right where it is. Advanced, lower ramp. Good. Go over here to the skitter. Probably want to lift that, uh, blade back up. Let's see. Yep. I am way too far to the one side. For the record, I've never really been the greatest at loading machines. As you can probably tell. Jeez. You know, those walls aren't doing a very good job of walling. There we go. I'm not blaming the trailer for my inability to park. That looks like it put a bit of a strain on the suspension. There you go.